listen to that music. That is, that is some solid music right there as we start the beginning of Dark Souls. The third one, because I don't have either of the other two, so we're just going to start with the third one. We're going to just jump right in. Um, I have played this before. Um, yes, what? indeed. Oh god, that's loud. Okay, you're it very loud. It is called Lothric. Wow. Oh my goodness. We're gonna calm Where down a little bit there. the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. I have no idea any of the lore on this, by the way. I barely know it from playing the actual In third game. Adventuring North? But I have no idea. Besides the fact that apparently the these guys are crazy. discover the truth of the old words. Yeah, cool. I don't, I don't know like half of this, where any of this is coming from. So just the bear with me here. Fades. Cool, cool, good to know. And the lords go without thrones. All right. Uh huh. All right, makes sense. Everybody seems to just kill. Also, a recurring theme in this game is that everybody just kills over and dies, all the time. Everybody just kills over and dies. Like, no one ever. When the link right. of fire is threatened. Oh, wow. Wow, that's pretty loud there. Tolls. Ooh, want to calm down a little bit there? Unearthing the old lords of Cinder from their graves. Oh, yeah? The old lords of Cinder from their graves? Okay, okay. Aldrich, saint of the deep. Oh, okay. Is that like. Somebody I should know, something I should figure out about, like anything like that, or is that just like in general, just something that's gonna happen? I'm just gonna oh, okay. undead legion, the abyss watches. Oh wait a minute, hold up! I actually started to know these people. Hold up. Oh wait, a minute. I get it. Okay, I understand. These are all the people that you're supposed to kill. And the reclusive lord of the profaned. Yep. Yeah. Yom the giant. You know what the funny thing about this whole thing is? Um every single one of these guys. Actually hard people to fight. Actually hard people to fight. Not like Only people. in truth. Only in truth. Oh yeah. The lords will abandon their thrones. I don't really know what that means, by the way. Why would they abandon their thrones? In truth only. And the unkindled will rise. I think the unkindled is me, by the way. I think that's who it is who they're talking about here. Once again, not super Nameless, heavy on the lore. A cursed undead. Unfit even to be Cinder. Oh, yeah. And so it is. <laughs> that Ash seeketh embers. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, there's multiple ways to try and play this game, right? And I'm going to go for one that I haven't beaten the game as. Which, by the way, only beat the game once. So, really, that's actually not as hard as you think it would be. It's not actually as hard as you think it would be, because... Because uh, I've only literally... I think I've only beaten it as a... Uh, where is it? Is it Warrior? Is it Warrior? Yeah, it's Warrior. Because it's Barbarians. Is basically who I've beaten it as. I've beaten it as a Barbarian before. So, uh... We're not going to play as a barbarian this time, you know? Um, we're going to try and play a sorcerer. Um, keynote about this is try. We're going to try and be a sorcerer, you know? So a sorcerer is kind of like the ideal for me to play as. I mean, there's a reason I played as a... There's a reason I played as a warrior last time with a crap ton of, like, basically just health the whole time. So I can just tank everything, and it's because I didn't know how to play the game that well, and I'm a little, a little scared by uh, how to, uh, how to tank things. But uh, we're gonna play as the, uh, the sorcerer, because we like playing as the sorcerer. We, we enjoy that. Um, I think I'm going to do a little bit here. 
Yeah, we're just gonna go standard actually. Facial presets, okay. Commoner. Sorian Noble. Nah, nah, nah. Oh man, this is just Yeah, we're just gonna go with uh I think we're gonna go with the Assyrian Noble here. Because then he kinda looks Yeah. I like how it says presets, and I don't think you can actually change this over here. Yeah, I don't think you really can. Yeah, you really can't. Whatever. We have our little character here, and we're gonna go see how this uh how this plays off, you know? Playing as, you know, the character, the person, the the thing here. I think there was a part of character creation that I messed up. Uh, I think there's actually a part that seems like you're supposed to get a gift, and I think I missed that. But uh, don't worry, that gift has absolutely no effect on the game because of the fact that it really doesn't help you past the very first area. So, it doesn't matter if I didn't get that, or if I did, I don't remember what it was. It does not matter either. That's me. Look at me in a robe. I am the best. Best ever. Truly. Can I stand up? Uh, okay, what do we got in our inventory here? Uh, no, that's not the inventory. I don't know how to do things. Control camera. That's not control camera, by the way. I forgot. That's regular attack. That's power attack. That's right. Okay, so those are those two things. Uh, is it... It's not I. It's not tab. Q? I forget how to do anything. I want to point out that like uh, all these things are really funny because like none of the controls are actually the same. Oh, I forgot. You can actually block attacks. <laughs> forgot that. Um, my bad. My bad. Um, yeah, you can actually block attacks. I was trying to actually roll. I was trying to roll. Um, is it tab? Is it tab? Hold up, hold up. So I can roll with what? Backstep. It's not tab, is it? Is it space? It's space. My bad. Okay. Move plus B is dash. So, move plus space is dash. Okay, I'm, I'm saying these aloud because of the fact that I never remember any of these. I never remember any controls for this game. I'm very bad at it. Um... That's actually half the reason I die all the time, is because I don't know the controls. Because, like, I'll be in the middle of a fight and be like, I forgot how to attack. Okay, let's see. Is this... Okay, that's that's the one thing that I did, right? Did I do that? Oh, yeah, I blocked it with that. Um, I think it's... Is it tab? It's alt, right? Alt is... Yes. Okay, so alt is walk really slow. Alt is super slow walk. behind enemy attack is a critical hit no matter what. So that's what they're telling me right there. They're telling me, hey, you attack behind somebody, you get the jump on them. Which is why you would walk around sometimes like this. But uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, so just gotta put that out. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ready for this? Ready for this? We're gonna try it. And boom. Sorry, I have to learn how to time that because there is a uh, there is one boss that uh, how to defeat them is literally just timing a shield bash all the time, and uh, to put it into perspective, this game is the first time I've ever shield bashed successfully like that, or I'm sorry, uh, parried I think is what it's called. This is the first time I've ever parried successfully. So to put it into perspective, I never do what I just did twice. I've done it twice now, and. Uh, I've never done it before. Okay, let's read these things. You always that's the other thing. You always wanna you always wanna read these things. So is it Y? Is it Y? I think it's just tab, right? Oh, I forget how to do it. It's F. That's what it is. It's F. Use item. So F is how you two wield your thing. Also, I wanna point this out that uh I can cast spells by doing this. I have heavy Solero and Solero, and you can uh, turn back. Uh, well, I don't want to turn back. Um, and this is how you use spells. You use it on that thing. So uh, 
as a note, this game is very unforgiving. It's very known for being unforgiving. I am terrible at this type of game, and I'm very bad at uh, things like I'm very bad at high pressure situations, as uh, Fallout basically shows to everybody, to everyone. I'm very, very. I'm just gonna this guy by the way. I'm very scared of him. Um, you're actually, you actually can fight him, but uh, I'm not uh, that apt to fight him, so I'm not going to. Well, basically. Um, I'm really bad at these types of games, so instead of not playing this type of game, right, I'm going to play it, and everybody will see why I'm bad at these types of games. And, uh, let's just say, uh, it's very apparent why I'm bad at these games. And those are actually the same. Those are all arrow keys. That's good. At least they kept something the same between the two editions. You know. Because this is actually written for, like, uh, the station, right? Like, for a, uh, for a console. Not con uh, yeah, console. Uh, instead of a, uh, for the PC, which is what I'm playing it on, so, you know. It's not made for what I'm playing it on. Instead, it's made for, uh, something else, so. That's why, uh, everything isn't as great as it could be. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Did I not do it right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Come on. Oh, wow, I suck. Wow, I just, I just took that. Well, I was trying to parry, first of all, and uh, that's that's why you die. So, death one, before you even kill the first boss. That's Just write that down. Death one is before I killed the first boss. Um, it should just be noted that I'm going to die way too many times to keep track of, but I'm going to try and keep track of them for a while. I'm going to try and keep track of, uh, I think my first 50 deaths I'm going to try and keep track of. So, that's just death one. Death one was because I can't kill people in a timely manner. And death two will not happen yet, so there we go. Um, also, should be known that uh, basically I have this little ability, which is uh, magic, right? I have magic, which uh, uses the little blue bar up there. And uh, I'm not using it for a very obvious reason. But, uh, it's only because I've played the game that I'm not using it right now. Um. Let's put it that way. It's only because I'm playing the game. I've played the game that I'm not using it right now. Um. It's because I know where the first boss is, and I'm very afraid of dying to him, basically. Even though it's almost a guarantee I'm going to die to him. It's almost a guarantee. I guarantee my second death will be to him. Um, if I don't, um, by all means, it just means I'm doing better than I thought I would, and like there's nothing wrong with that. So, really, the worst thing that happens is I do better than I expect. Okay. Oh, gosh. Um, also, I want to point out that uh, space bar, which is the thing that literally does everything right, is also jump. Um, just to let you know, basically, space bar does everything for you in this game. Spacebar is like a catch-all, like, if you felt like doing something, just press spacebar, you probably will end up doing it. Except for open your inventory, which I can't figure out how to do right now. So that's a little sad. Um, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna go put on a, uh, a soul arrow, probably a heavy soul arrow, to be completely honest, because that's the first boss right there. That's, that's him. So I'm gonna figure out how to open inventory as well, so... Eh, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, gestures. G. Who would have known? Anyway, well, I didn't figure out how to open it, so hopefully somebody teaches me how to open it soon. Because if I don't know, this is gonna be a very short game. Okay, this is gonna be a very short game if I don't know. I almost forgot how to activate the first boss. Gonna be honest, would have been embarrassing. Okay. So far, so good. I'm not lying. This is literally me just being like... Okay. That was painful.
Killed him. Killed him and died. Killed him and died. Same time. Same time. Boom. Boom. No one even knew. No one even knew. Boom. You know what that means? I might have to kill him again. But really, what it really means is, um... Hey! I don't have to kill him again, by the way. Uh, I got the ember restored, so that means I did kill him. And I don't have to kill him again. So, uh... Moral of the story is here. I was right. My second death was in the boss fight. I killed him, but I got the boss fight second death. So I was right and got the win. So really, really, if you want to get super technical on this, I'm right and wrong at the same time. Because I thought I was going to, you know, die in the second boss, and the first boss, right? But I technically died after the first boss died. Oh, actually, technically, no, I did die in the first boss, because uh, it wouldn't have given me the ember otherwise. So I technically died before the first boss died, which allowed me to uh, get the ember afterwards. Which means I don't have to fight him again. That was a beautiful time. I don't think this is ever going to happen again, by the way. I don't think I'm ever going to get that lucky. I really don't think I'm ever going to get that lucky again. Watch me always get that lucky. I'm not going to lie. That would be really nice. Really nice time. Hey, I got all the sh I got all the souls, too. I didn't lose any souls from the starting area. That's impressive within itself. Um, not losing the souls in the starting area. Man. You know, I usually lose all the souls in the starting area. Let's be honest here. I'm terrible at this game. I'm already on second death. Like, I just beat the first boss, so... Really... Really, if you want to get super technical on this, um, I'm doing okay. I'm doing way better than my first run, let me tell you. On my first run, um, this isn't even, I'm not even ashamed of this one. Oh yeah, that's how I open menu? Yeah, triple bar right there? Okay, let's find out what triple bar is. Um, yeah, is it this? Is it tab? Is it hold tab? Is it inventory? I swear it should be inventory. Um, it's not caps lock, is it? No, 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 that would make sense. Um, shift? No, it's not shift. Uh, T. Y. U. R? Oh, no, it's just drink. Okay, Q. Q is just focus on whatever I'm looking at. Okay. Um, Z. Just, just, just gonna go through everything, really, at this point. Um, J. K. L. O. Um. Man, what is it? Hold up. Screw it. I thought I would not have to do this, but apparently I do. Where's my button binding? There we go. Key bindings. Open menu. Escape? Oh, that's right. I want to point out that I didn't realize that opening the menu was the same as opening up these things even though I literally did this to check the system and I didn't decide to look over at the other two things that literally says inventory on one of them I apologize I deeply apologize that I did not recognize that I had it right in front of me the whole time okay well uh, we're gonna just use a whole heavy heavy soul arrow right there I don't care too much about whether or not I live or die. Also, Dark Souls is about a lot of really dumb situations you get yourself into because you want something. Like, there, right there, it would not have surprised me if somebody dropped out of the sky and killed me immediately. It would not surprise me because that's like a Dark Souls thing to do. Be like, you want this item? It was rigged for a trap. You shouldn't have wanted that item. That's, that's that's the entirety of Dark Souls. It's literally just like, I see you wanted something. It was a trap. You shouldn't have wanted it. That's that's basically the equivalent of Dark Souls. Um, my actual entire first playthrough was a sorcerer. Um, we'll, we'll, we won't go into why I didn't win the game as the sorcerer the first time. We'll put it that way. We won't go into why I didn't win the game as a sorcerer the first time. And why I had to restart and play as a different class. But we'll get into that in time. We'll get into that in time. And I'm going to say in time, because there's going to be like some key points that I actually know about now, because I, you know, found out why I failed so badly. Um, and, I mean, I haven't played as the Sorcerer, so I don't know like the rest of the game for it. 
but I do sure as heck know one thing for the sorcerer, which is, in fact, don't be an idiot at this one point and not notice this one thing. Because if you don't, um, the game gets really exponentially harder. And surprisingly enough, I got pretty far in the game without realizing why it was so hard for me. And surprisingly, it could have been easier than Deathly Hard. Even though Deathly Hard is still pretty Deathly Hard. I'd like to point out that this is actually a really easy fight, considering he's not actually walking at me. Okay, thank you. Thank you for uh, proving my point to me that uh, if you run at me, I'm going to die. Oh, come on. Come on. You gotta come closer than that. Come on. Kill him. Yes! Okay. One thing I do like about the Sorcerer, besides the fact that I burned through all my... Uh, mana, basically, or whatever it's called, all the time, is the fact that I basically get a free run with, by the way, I can't even use the weapon I got. I just think that's funny that I can't even use the weapon I get, usually. Nine, nine out of ten times, I usually don't get the weapon. Okay, so this is actually worse. Why am I, why am I looking at it that way? It should be equipment that I'm looking at it in. Okay, so yeah, everything is worse besides the weight. And resistances are technically better. Um, this one's just way worse, I mean, in general. Yeah, um, I just want to point out that I did that whole thing, that whole little excursion there, for no reason, really. Because, technically, it doesn't matter if I ever do that excursion. Because I, I won't use that weapon. Um, if I was a fighter, it would make more sense. If I was doing a specific build, it would make more sense. But I'm not doing either of those things. Hey! Darn dog. Darn doggo. Trying to kill me. Um, also, it should be noted that I don't know any builds in this game. So, anybody who knows a build that uh, would like to tell me that I'm doing everything wrong, please go ahead and tell me that I'm doing everything wrong, because let me tell you, I won't know. Where's the firewall? What do you mean fog wall? There's no fog wall. Go ahead and tell me that I'm doing everything uh, wrong. I have no idea what I'm another doing. one oh, goodness. roused from the sleep of death. Oh my goodness, you're loud. Well, you're not alone. Oh my We goodness. unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. You can't even die right? What do you mean, boy? Guess me right now. Oh, wait a minute. And they'd have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. Would they? But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. Yeah? We're not fit to lick their boots. Oh, we're not? Okay. Um, Don't okay. you think? <laughs> not really. I think we're fine. But uh, by all means, do whatever you want. Um, in this game, there's a lot of weird things like that, like where you're just supposed to know about this. We're gonna, we're just gonna take that to a five. I don't know why I had it at a seven. I just assumed that it would be harder. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me. Thank I'm you. a firekeeper. Oh yeah. Cool. I tend to the flame, and tend to thee. Oh me. Thanks. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with my face? The lords have left their thrones, and must be delivered to them. Okay, oh, they left their thrones. To this oh. end, I am There's one guy side. sitting there. There's literally just a guy, hold up, Farewell, hold up. Ashen one. Hold on, let me just throw this coil in the middle here. Also, didn't know that was what you're supposed to do with a coil, but I lucked out and found out. Because I uh, was half looking around for what to do with it, and eventually slammed it in there. What's this guy doing up here, boy? Yeah? Did I already complete one? Yeah? All that unkindled, and a seeker of lords. Apparently. I am Ludlith of Corland. Oh, yeah? Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. Oh, you did? If substantiation be thy want. Set thine eyes upon my charred corpse. Okay. This sad cadaver. No need to be coy. Have a closer look. Oh yeah? That's weird. I don't now, know. Now. Do not be away. That was a weird long. pose you did there for friend. I'm a little a little scared. Um I will do a brief look around. There's this old lady. 
There's the guy who literally spends his entire decade smithing right here. So this is the smith. He smiths for eternity. Well, a newcomer, I see. Yep. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine. Yep. As a humble smith forging weapons. Cool. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. A toilsome journey, I wager. You require good arms. Yeah, probably. Let me smith you weapons. I am okay. a smith. Such is my purpose. Okay, cool. Um, he also does the flasks as well. Pretty beak. I don't want to see my work squandered. You don't want to watch <laughs> your... Oh, he said pretty be careful, by the way. Um, he just decided to stop halfway through. A pleasure to make thine acquaintance, Ashen One. Make my shield I acquaintance. I am but a humble handmaid of the shrine. Are you? Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. Oh yeah, you got all those things? I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. Oh yeah? And yes, I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away. Not so charitable as to give your goods Ashen away. One, fetch souls and bring them to me. So, uh, souls are the super as currency in this world. No. <laughs> so, the currency of this game is souls. You do literally everything with souls. So, all this soul cost, everything is just in souls, by the way. Ashen One. Be sure to bring more souls. Yeah, the oh. entire... Yeah, stop, stop laughing. That's a little weird. The entire game basically runs on a soul system. Also... Ashen One. Yes? Produce the coiled sword at the bonfire. It's in the bonfire. The Mark of Ash will guide thee to the land of the Lords. Okay, fair enough. To Lothric, where the homes of the Lords converge. Okay, whatever. Um, Very she well. levels up, right? She levels you then up. touch the darkness within me. I don't actually understand this whole like. Uh... Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Oh, that actually makes more sense now. But uh, so attunement here, uh, messes with your attunement slots, which is something I'm gonna be messing with because that's how many spells I get, at a time that I can choose between, right? Intelligence is my main attacking thing, right? So intelligence is my main magic thing for my class. Um, luck, I have literally no idea why I would want luck. Besides item discovery, apparently. I don't actually understand. Faith is only if I am uh, a priest. I'm using priestly spells. Strength doesn't affect me. Vitality is for equip load. Endurance is for stamina, which, surprisingly, you do need, because everything takes stamina in this game. So, there's that. Um, attunement also affects uh, force points. Okay. Or so-called magic points. Um, and vigor affects hit points. Up there at the top. So everything has a little thing it affects. So to each everything. But yeah. So what I'm gonna do is probably level up a uh, attunement. Probably mm, probably gonna level up endurance first. Mm, no, 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 no. Probably just attunement. See how far I can get. Oh, I can get to uh, attune slots to three, can't I? Okay, so I got attuned slots to three. That's not bad. I'll get intelligence up too. And then I think I'll probably want to buff uh, endurance maybe once. And I also probably just want to buff uh, endurance again for the for the purpose of uh, making sure that I can get enough stamina to do things. Okay, and then you just confirm it. And uh, you level up to level 12 now. So the entire game is not like I do things, right? And level up. May the flames guide thee. Um, you get things that basically you can level up from. So, I could level up, or I could just buy items. I could literally stay level, uh, six is what I started at, I guess. I could literally stay six, level six the whole game. Um, if you start as a non, uh, non-specialized class, you just start as, like, anything, you can technically start at level, uh, one, and never level up the rest of the game. You could literally be level one through the whole game. It's not recommended because of the fact that it's uh really hard to do. Look, there's a little 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 coil there. Oh, 
little, little things. So I know a little bit about the game and its hidden secrets, but I know not everything. I can safely say I don't know everything because there's things that I've tried to get to that I don't know how to get to. So I can safely say I don't know where everything is. Now, we're on the high wall of Lothric, and I'm going to say that's enough for a first episode because I've rambled long enough. So anyway, that's it for this time. We'll explore this beautiful, beautiful city um, another time. Until then, have yourselves a great day, and we'll be back next time with some more. Peace.